Well, I know this to be true. <laughs> the first Monday of daylight saving time may have had you running a little slower today. But what if this was the last time for us to spring forward? Mm, a bill before state lawmakers this week would make daylight saving time permanent in Tennessee. And Local 24 News anchor Rudy Williams is here to tell us uh, the idea is picking up momentum. New at 10. Hey, Rudy. Well, Katina and Richard, we all know what a difference an hour can make. Florida was the first to approve the idea, and all it needs is federal approval. Could Tennessee be next? Well, research suggests extending daylight saving time could be good for our health, and apparently the president agrees. Sunday, a tweet from President Trump adding his stamp of approval saying, making daylight saving time permanent is okay with me. Well, Tennessee State Representative Rick Tillis hopes that tweet will improve his bill's chances to get rid of what he calls an antiquated practice. We've been doing it since 1918, uh, over 100 years now, and it, its original intent was to save electricity when electricity was first becoming widely available. Well, Representative Tillis said the extra hour would improve health and overall quality of life for people living in the state and refers specifically to heart health and autism. Jeremy Whaley of Sensory World Memphis says time change has adverse effects on children on the autistic spectrum. You move that time forward and they lose an hour or whatever, it really affects them. Because autism is a neurological disorder in the brain, changes in breakfast, school schedules, and bedtime can be catastrophic. Anything that you change with routine can pretty much cause behavior issues such as being very defiant, um, meltdowns, and etc. And it's not just people with autism. A study by the University of Alabama at Birmingham showed a 10 to 24 percent increase in heart attacks in Americans the Monday after springing forward. All right, so Tellus told me over the phone today that he's getting lots of support for the bill from other lawmakers and constituents, but even if it passes, federal approval would be required to make it law. Now, Hawaii and Arizona are the only two states exempt from DST. I'm Rudy Williams, Local 24 News.